yet another hospital trip where Emily stays and I go home. I think this is like eight in two years. The aim of these vlogs are just to capture what we're going through, the highs and lows and life. And so fair warning, this one gets a little bit emotional. <laughs> One reason I don't like HelloFresh over Gusto is uh, packaging. Those were two different packaging elements and uh, as I found out, one of them was not from Fresh and one of them was in fact sour cream. So uh, what's the review of the uh, sour cream pasta? It's really good. Turns out Sour cream's not that different to creme fraiche. We've used this car so little, the tire is flat. And now the pump is just saying error. No need to panic, I was just holding it wrong. What's the day today? The date or the day? Day. Friday. Friday? Friday. One day left of my uh, birthday week. <laughs> That's right, I've given myself a full week. <laughs> and I've just invented, I mean, I'm pretty sure someone else has done this before, but the pizza bread thing. I made the best pizza base sauce, fresh tomatoes in a pan with loads of oil and butter. Bunch of, what's that vinegar stuff? Balsamic? Balsamic vinegar. Barbecue sauce. Delicious. But I'll come back tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. You know that's going in, right? No, it's not. This is a uh, day something without a haircut. Saturday. How's my uh, day Saturday without a <laughs> day Saturday without a How's my beautiful pregnant wife? Feeling less beautiful today, but definitely more pregnant. Look how big that belly is. Ooh, ooh. Belly, belly, belly. Three months. Less than three months. Less than three months ago. Madness. Officially the first day of my third trimester today. And the end of my birthday week. Because <laughs> that's the most important thing. Ooh, fancy curry. These trees are quite strange, aren't they? They are a bit. See the marshmallow on a toothpick tree. <laughs> Aptly named. <laughs> Genuine question. Right. Why do they leave them on the cross? I don't... I think it's just about, like, a reminder of the sacrifice. It's a bit grim though, isn't it? Yeah, but it's not like... A boy JC. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like it's really graphic or anything. It's a bit odd. I mean, I, I understand, like, I suppose if they're trying to say the significance of it. It's just the reverence like of the, it. Like the reverence it? of the weightiness of being nailed to a cross. Yeah. Sure. But isn't that point? I know, I know. It's, it, the point is that he resurrected. But there is an element of, obviously, he did go through something horrific as well. I suppose it's harder to put empty tombs on a necklace. <laughs> yeah, a little, a little bit harder, yeah. <laughs> Just getting ready for uh, church online. Look how cool that looks. I'm about to make Matt his first V60 coffee. What's your verdict of the coffee? Oh, I thought we were taking a photo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I genuinely thought we were taking a photo, but uh, it was fruity. And um, it wasn't bitter enough, but it was pretty, pretty decent. Fruity, pretty decent. That's what we have. Fruity tooty. Good review. Everyone knows that in life there are ups and there are downs, and this next bit of footage um, is particularly raw and unedited as much as possible, just to show kind of the emotion that um, we were going through. And uh, you know, as a Christian, I have the pleasure of walking with Jesus, but he doesn't say that life would be perfect. Uh, but this was just 
the reality of what we were going through. So I'm just sat in um, Lister Hospital car park. Um, I don't know if actually anyone else will ever see this video. I'm here because my wife, Emily, who's pregnant with our first baby, our first child, um, she experienced some bleeding earlier tonight. Um, not a good sign. Um, so we called up and they said just to come in. Um, the literally first thing we did was we prayed, prayed everything was okay, and then we literally just drove, came to hospital. Um, I'm not actually able to be with her because of coronavirus, and this is the first time in the three month lockdown which I've been so annoyed, um, angry, upset. I can't be with my wife, and I don't know what's happening. And like, so at a time like this, you feel really useless, desperate, scared, and right now very lonely. I feel for my wife who must be feeling incredibly lonely. <clears throat> I don't know what you do in a time of desperation, but the past three and a half hours have been heavy emotionally, spiritually, physically. Not physically, I've not really done any lifting. Um, but Emily's not with me. She's actually at the hospital. Um, they're keeping her there as a precautionary measure. Um, baby's okay, and so we just keep praying um, that she'll be fine and safe. But literally the whole way home, I've just been worshiping. And I'm, I'm not going back home yet because I'll just, I'll keep my neighbors up. So I'm just gonna drive around and just keep worshiping my little bum off. I'm so thankful that in a time like this, I have my faith to fall back on because I'm definitely emotionally I'm physically tired right now and I don't have the self-help in me to be positive yet yeah, I just cast my worries, my anxieties, my fear onto God. This is how we fight them battles. Um... have to say that everything is fine now. Emily is home, baby is doing well. Uh, she clearly doesn't take after her mother because she just wants to be early. No one ever tells you that these things happen in pregnancy and that when they do, they are very scary. I'm just so grateful that we have such a great healthcare system and that's able to look after us and care for us as well as they do. Oh, I decided it was time for another haircut. Um, these days and weeks are going so quickly during this lockdown and uh, I can say, look at those, those blocks, look at these steps, Woo! those rigid lines. I think that'll be fashion before uh, after after COVID. We'll all be going to the barbers, going, "Oh, I want I want the block look. I want the steps. I don't want those fades. I want I want it to look like the lockdown days." That's not true. What were you attempting to make, Em? Um, we're making cookies. Have a look. This is my day so far. Okay. And we're adding a little bit of extra. Uh, Chocolate. Marshmallow on a toothpick tree. Aptly named. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> 